Let's stay in Huntington Beach, go over to the Oilers. They drop to 500, a last second touchdown. El Toro scoring with 13 seconds left to win 31-24. Tough loss for the Oilers. We talked to Coach Brett Brown this morning, talked about being frustrated, penalties, and he, he said in our interview with him what I think we're both thinking when we look at this Huntington Beach team. And I'm just frustrated because we had opportunities, but I mean, it, it, was, it was a good game. And for us, we just need to figure out how to win those close games. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's going to mm -hmm. be our, our biggest thing. I think, I think we've uh, come up on the other side of that so many times, you know, the last few years that we got to turn the corner. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a frustrating loss for the Oilers because it was an excellent game. Huntington Beach led 24-17 in the fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter. So when coach says they're a good team, it's true. They're just a couple of plays away. They're a couple of defensive uh, miscues couple of defensive stops away from being three and one right yeah. now and that first loss really came down to the defense at the very end of the game as well so this is a team that's put together 45 good minutes of defense a couple of times this season and haven't been able to hang on at the end in the last three minutes last night we saw El Toro put up 14 points to yeah. really take the lead and then solidify the win so tough loss for the Oilers but they're a team that will be better we know that they have a high ceiling and sometimes you need to get these games out of, out of the way, you know, get them out of your system, get these tough losses under your belt so you can learn from them. And, and I believe that the way the Huntington Beach schedule is set up, there's a couple of games, you know, there's a winnable game ahead of them. They've got a bye, they, then they open up Sunset League. So I know they're looking to open up Sunset League on a high note after getting a win next week. Well, I, I sing his praises when he does well, but I, I mean, I have to point out AJ Perez three of 13 with just 61 yards through the air. I know last week I was talking about him. This is the reason why he had a great game last week. This is the reason why he's my dark horse MVP candidate. But when your senior quarterback, you know, can't complete the game or play the game the way you want him to, that's tough. I, I know HB ran the ball well. That was a bright spot for them. But uh, like Coach Brown said, they just, they haven't quite hit on all cylinders. When they do, they look very good. They look like a challenger for maybe a top three spot in the league. But, but last night they didn't quite put it all together. But think about it, if A.J. Perez, your starting quarterback, doesn't play the way that you expect him to or doesn't you know, have the dynamic passing night that you, that you want, you still find yourself ahead in the fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter. And that speaks to the talent of Huntington Beach. That speaks to the preparation. You know, a guy like E.J. Rederick carried the ball 23 times, had over 100 yards, had a touchdown. He had a big night. Had a big night. Taylor also had a good night uh, running the ball, had a touchdown. So there are other guys who got involved, you know, uh, A.J. Perez did throw a touchdown to, to Tyler Moses. You know, we saw guys come up big on defense. Eli Anderson, we sing his praises every single week. I believe he was a guy that was all-league last year. He's already on the campaign to be all-league this year. He's tough night in, night out. E.J. Redrick is tough night in, night out on the defensive side. So they're getting good production from certain guys. Um, there's a lot of talent. So even when the offense isn't going the way you want it to, there's enough there's enough to, to, to pick up the offense and, and support, support the team to the fourth quarter. The problem is Huntington Beach just couldn't cap off the win. Well, and I think, yeah, that's what Coach Brett Brown is saying, where he's like, we've got the talent, we're there, we're, we're three minutes away, really, 45 out of 48, and in game one and now in game four, just things falling apart right at the end. So, I mean, we believe in what Coach Brown's doing, and we believe in the Oilers. I expect them to put it all together at some point, and when they do, and when they have, like they did against Western, like they did last week, they're a very dangerous team.